After you have installed Rename Family Types add-in, go to Add-ins tab and find Rename Types panel. Click on Rename to open the Rename dialog. Here you can see on what category of family the type will be renamed. We have floors, roofs, walls. You can also see the old name of the family type, the new name of the family type and the column that shows if there's any errors. Click OK to rename the family types. Now the family types are renamed and you can find that all the walls have new names. Here you can see all the walls with the new names. If you want to undo this action, just click undo. And you can see that all the names have reverted. To change the settings of how the family types are renamed, click on the settings icon. In the first group you can choose what family types will be renamed. Wall types, floor types, roof types or ceiling types. In the next group, naming parameters, you can pick what parameters will be added to the name. Type mark, wall function, interior or exterior, overall width or the comment or type description. When you change these settings, you can see the name preview down below. Changes with the settings. In the last group, layer naming options, you can set how the layer names affect the overall family type name. You could choose if you want to display material names, layer width. You can also choose what characters will be displayed between the layers. Let's say the plus sign. And you can switch between these characters and see the preview down below. You can also choose what characters will be displayed around the core layers. Again, you can change these characters and see the name preview down below. Let's set them to my favorite slash and double slash for the core layers. You can also choose how default material will be named. And again, you can change these settings and see the name preview down below. And lastly, you can set how many material name characters will there be for each layer in the final name or family type. When everything is set, click OK to save the settings and click on their name to see the rename dialog. You can see the old names and the new names. And here you can see that all the names are valid and all the names follow the settings. For example, here you can see we have interior 165 finished and we have roof soffit with default material with three exclamation marks and let's click OK to rename the family types and now we can go back to settings and set material name characters to three and let's set layer with default material to one exclamation mark click rename and you can see that the new names have three material characters the layer with default material is one exclamation mark. Let's click OK to rename again these family types. So now let's see how this add-in would be used in everyday drafting situation. Let's go to level 1 and when you select the walls now you can see that all the walls have correct names and the name consists of the wall compound structure. Here you can see that we have type description. It's a bit too long and in a real world scenario it would be shorter but you can just rename the type description. Select the wall and let's create new wall here. Now if we want to duplicate this wall, just duplicate the wall, go to edit structure and change the structure for something you like. Let's say the air will be 50. OK. Just click OK. OK. Go back to add in, rename and you can see that the new name don't have the 2 in the end and the air have width of 50. So now let's see a situation when you duplicate a wall but don't change anything to the wall. So let's select this wall, edit type, duplicate, OK, OK. And now let's copy this wall to the left and create another wall. And now we have two walls, duplicated wall with 2 and the original wall. Let's go back to rename. And you can see that there's an error. We'll create duplicate names in the same category. You can see that the new name will be the same as the name for the old wall in the category. And we can't have two identical names. And when you click OK, nothing is renamed. When you select the wall, you can see that there's wall type with the old name, with the two in the end. So what else can we do? We can add type mark. Let's say TM1. Now when we click on the rename, we see that there's two wall types that will be renamed. The one with the TM in the beginning and the one duplicated wall with the two in the end. 
So let's click OK to rename these wall types. So now you can see that all wall types have correct names. And we can also add TM2 to the new wall type. Let's go to add in, rename, and we have TM2 in the beginning of the wall name. So what I like to do in my everyday use of this add-in is to add this command, rename command, to the keyboard shortcuts. Just open keyboard shortcuts, search for rename, and let's add a shortcut, let's say rename family types, RFT, assign, okay, okay. And now when you duplicate the wall or do any adjustments to the wall, let's say, let's edit the structure, and what can we do? Let's change this material. Let's say to let's say to roof something roof felt. Okay, okay, okay. And let's click RFT, and the rename dialog opens, and you can see the new name with the roof. And you just have to click OK. And this is how I use this add-in in my everyday work. And the settings are saved for later use in every new project or every old project. Let's change this to none. Click rename and you can enjoy your new beautiful names of your family types. And I really do hope that this add-in will make your life easier and your file cleaner and your workflow faster. Have a great day and see you in the next video.